coming to you today with a super simple DIY because you guys asked for it. I recently took a poll on my Instagram asking you guys what you actually want to see on my YouTube channel and the majority of you voted for smaller DIY projects. So that's exactly what we're doing today. It's a super simple and very, very cute wall hanging that I think you guys are gonna really, really love. So if you like this video while you're watching, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I love how my little YouTube family is growing slowly but surely every week and I'd love to see you back here next Sunday, blah, blah, blah. Let's just get into the DIY. Okay, so here we go. I started this wall hanging by cutting about 250 strands of this four millimeter macrame cording to span the width of the wood piece, and then I cut each strand at about 36 inches in length. The cutting process was pretty repetitive and resulted in a big old pile of cording, so the first thing I had to do was to straighten them all and divide them into more manageable piles for the second step in this process, which you'll see in a second. I laid each strand out, purposely not being too precise, and folded the pile in half to create a loop, and then I placed a piece of tape around the whole bunch till it looked like this. Like I said, this creates a more manageable way to do the next process, which is to get color in the middle section of the cording. Since I only want to dye the middle of the cording, the tape gives me sort of a visual of where to stop in the dipping process. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. I repeated that process with a couple more bunches of cording until I had all of the strands ready for step two. You'll see that the tape is not wrapped in the exact same spot on each of the bunches, and that's actually on purpose. I want all the strands to be dipped at random lengths and so I placed the tape randomly on each loop. Okay, so on to step two. It's actually really difficult to dye fabric or cording a true black. Believe me, I've tried it and so I opted to use a paint and just thin it out. I grabbed a little bucket of water and I added a bunch of this black paint sample that I had left over from when I painted my chicken coop. And then I just started dipping each of the cord bunches up to that first line of tape. I soaked each of them well for about 30 seconds and then I laid them to dry on a garbage sack. This part's actually really fun and if you have little kids, I think this would be a fun project for them to help you with and this part in particular is totally something they can do. I ended up moving them outside to dry in the sun just to speed up this process a little bit. Once the cording was good and dry, I grabbed my staple gun and headed outside to complete the project. I found it easier to do the stapling on the ground just to give myself a sturdy surface to work on and to ensure I wasn't going to damage the table that I was working on earlier. And honestly, this part could be done with a glue gun if you don't have a staple gun or some E6000 or even some wood glue. Whatever you have on hand, try that. I'm sure it will work. I just happened to go with a staple gun. I laid my board on the ground and then gathered a few strands at a time, lined them up, and stapled them to the board. Seriously, this part is so easy and so self-explanatory and the only tip I can really give you is to smush all of the cording together really closely, not leaving any gaps so that the end result looks super full. Honestly, if I had to do this all over again, I think I would cut even more cording and really pack it in there or even just double up on a layer or two behind the first. The other thing I'll say for this part of the process is to take the little ends and fold them over onto themselves and then staple again just to ensure that the cords are secure and not going to slip out of the staples. I loved when I started finally seeing the pattern come together. Every time I'm doing a DIY project, there's this moment when I realize that my vision is coming together and I get super excited and motivated to finish. I just repeated this process all the way across the board, making sure to pack the cords in tight next to each other and then double back on the stapling like I said earlier. And then the final step was to add these picture hanging hooks to each end. And this is how the back looks when it's all stapled and ready to hang. So everyone, you asked for an easy DIY and here it is folks. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a little boho, a little abstract, a little modern, and it's such an easy way to fill a pretty big area of wall space. The cool thing about it is you can customize it in a hundred ways. I'm such a sucker for black and white, but you could do the dyeing process in any color. You could even dye the ends instead of the middle like I did. I've even seen a few that have kind of an ombre effect going on with several different colors 
your options are really endless. I love the addition it gives this little nook in my living room and I hope you guys like it too. Tag me on Instagram if you'd try this for yourself. I would really love to see it. And that's it for this week. Thank you all for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Don't forget I post every single Sunday so make sure you're subscribed so you never miss an upload. And thanks for watching everyone. I will see you next week.